Hello everybody and welcome back. So now we're going to make a new di diagram and it's going to be the, what you see here on the screen. It's going to be a staple and there's going to be a percentage where you can slide like this. Change the colors. If you want another color, you can have that as well. Of course, like this and you can have it horizontal or vertical. They will both work. So let's get started in an empty scene. We're going to go and open this one up. So we actually have from the previous tutorial, this one. And also in the previous tutorial, I explained how to do the script. So if you want to have the script, you can see that one too. So we're going to make a new one. Actually, we can just copy this one. Or can we? Let's try it out. I had some problems with doing that, but we're going to make sure we have. Um, and we also, yeah, new names. We're going to have it. This one we're going to have here. And this one going to be a new one. So we can hide the triangle. It's a dia diagram here. <clears throat> So we need to make a new shader, shader graph, URP. We're going to be a sprite, unlit shader graph. We're going to, this is going to be a staple. And we also need um create a material. And we just add this one here. So the first thing we're going to do is to link up. We have this script here, right? So it is linked up to the text that I showed you in the previous tutorial how to do. But um, we also just need to make sure we have the staple material here. So have the correct one. So first off, let's see. This one, so we're gonna make a um, float percentage and just make sure everything works. Actually, plug it in in the alpha, so save it, and we do the color too. So we have the color, and I have the color plug here. So now. Let's see, and we have the percentage working. So now we're going to make a staple of this. So this is working. We need a tiling and offset here. And we're going to, we can actually have a full screen here. So we're going to split this one up so we can work from different um, channels. The first thing we want to do is to make the staple itself. So if we do, um, we take the green and do an absolute. And uh, let's do the red. I want it to be standing. And if we do uh, just do this. Um, no. 0 0.5. So what you do here, you kind of offset, you're moving this part inwards by doing negative values. So if we do negative 0 0.5, we have um, the x value here. So this is 0 and 0 0.5, and this is 0, and this is negative 0 0.5. So the reason to do this is because now we can actually, if we do um, floor and if we do an add here, so let's do we do
now when we do add here, we kind of um, just need to do inverse. No. It's called one minus like this. And here we have it. So if we just take this one and it's going to be as easy as multiply with the percent. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. We have the color here. This is what I'm thinking about. We're going to be, we have the multiply here. So now we got the bar. We just multiply with the color. We don't even need to do that because the alpha is going to do everything for us. This is going to be used later. First off, uh, sorry for messing around. So the first thing we're going to do, we have a staple here, right? And you can change to width here. So we can actually add um, load. We do width. We can just add it here. So we do a value for it. Yeah, that's great. And now we do need some kind of um, radiant gradient. And we're going to work with a green. So the zero to one value. And the way we do this, we do like this and we do a subtract. So if we do zero to one and we delete the percentage, that's also is between zero to one. We can um, have, let's say if I delete here now, you see we, um, have this zero value to go higher and higher and higher. So you start from zero. So what we do want to do is kind of do a ceiling. And we want to do one. What we're actually going to do a saturate here to make sure it always stay between zero and one. And when we do have that value, we just do a one minus and now we can just do a multiply with these two together and here you have it this is the bar super easy and also i like um, we can just see how this looks but it's almost finished so if we go back out let's see scene you see here if we do it works so maybe this is exactly what you want i'm just gonna add some kind of shadow behind this and that's because i want to kind of visually without looking at the numbers have more feedback multiply so more feedback when where the graph is so if we do a max we're not going to do a multiply because we don't want to multiply this we want to do a max so this is value is 0 0.5 and this is one so together we get this look and now we do it and we have it here super nice and the script we are using for this is um, here. So this script here is what you see here. So you can just copy it. So I really hope you like this and thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.